The latest on the war in Ukraine. The Senate passing that $40 billion package in new aid for the fight against Russia. Our senior foreign correspondent, Ian Pennell, is on the scene in Ukraine. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning, Michael. The Ukrainian military say that the Russians are now starting to pull some troops out of this region, having failed to take Ukraine's second largest city and are instead concentrating them in the east, in the Donbass, which is now the scene of some really heavy bombardment. This morning, the U.S. doubling down on military aid to Ukraine. The Senate passing a massive $40 billion package allowing more U.S. weapons and supplies to help Ukraine's war with Russia. Russia escalating its devastating attacks in the Donbass region in the east. Sevier Donetsk has been relentlessly bombed for days. The governor of the region releasing this video. The attacks there leaving at least 12 dead and over 40 injured. President Zelensky saying the region's being destroyed. Facility disk. Calling it hell there. And in Kyiv, the first war crimes trial of a Russian soldier who admits shooting and killing a 62 year old civilian. His widow testifying, saying, I think he deserves a life sentence, but I wouldn't mind if he's exchanged for our Mariupol defenders. And this morning, further evidence of potential war crimes. The New York Times obtaining this security camera film and eyewitness testimony of Russian soldiers executing at least eight men in the town of Bucha. Here outside of Kharkiv, Ukrainian troops pushing Russian forces back. We met a group of foreign fighters helping at a secret location. In this unit alone, there are at least 25 Americans, many of them combat veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan. We believe that um, their, their fight is a just fight and we wanted to be here and support them. Well, there are now hundreds of those foreign volunteers in the country, but it's the money and the intelligence from America and others that's really keeping the Ukrainians in this fight. You know, we've been saying for a while that there doesn't seem to be an end in sight for this war, but given what's happening in the east of the country, it looks like it could be about to get even worse. George? Ian Panel, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.